hi all so today in this video we'll be learning how to do drag and drop in playwright so let me go to the website where i'll be showing you so this is internet hiraku app.com drag and drop so you just paste this url here and you will get this page and you can see there is two boxes are there so one is a another is b so we can drag a to b and once we drag it now you can see a is here now and b is here so we have to do this operation and we have to validate whether uh, this becomes a or this becomes b okay these two things we can check it so let's do it so this is our I, I just created this test file and i just created this template as well and this is the url so it should go to this page okay next uh, we need to identify the locator so let's do that so the first option is the, this is having a id attribute so we can copy it and we can create like source page dot locator and you can give a hash and the id so it becomes a css locator right so next destination so destination is this one see let me refresh it because it's already we have already drag it right and drag and drop it so this is now the correct page so see this is already a only so this is fine now we are inspecting b1 so this is b and we can also create in the same way page dot locator and let me give this one or also we can try something else as well here so we can give something like id equals to this one so this is also fine now next option we have to do the drag and drop right so src drop drag to and then we have to give destination okay now we can run or we can give a expect keyword as well uh, just to validate first let it run let it let we let let's see that it is working fine or not so we can give pytest minus s does does headed and basics and test drag and drop and let's give a slow motion of three seconds three seconds okay so it's collected one item so you can see it should drag and drop yeah you can see now a was on the left it, now it is now in the right right so it is working correctly but we just visually verified it so let's let let's add a assertion so we can do something like expect expect and we have to import it so import this name so we should import it from sync api not this async api okay don't don't confuse use it from the playwright.sync api and here we will be passing source or we can do destination right so destination to have uh, text so it should have a text call uh, once we drag a to b so now this should be having the value of a right and we can just copy it and paste it here and put src and so should be b so let's run it yep it worked fine and it passed right so this is one approach we can do uh, next let me show you another approach so let me just copy it and let me paste it so this is approach to
so let me just remove this part so the second one is there is another method available that also we can use so that is page dot uh, drag and drop okay this is also you can use it so in that case actually we do not have to create uh, the locator okay so we can just uh, use something like this and comma something like this simple okay so we are dragging this uh, a to b okay and after that we can do the same thing this part but again uh, for these also we need to create this locator right so i mean i would suggest th you should go for this drag to option instead of this drag and drop but there is a there is a two options we have so if you need you can use whatever you i mean whatever is required or whatever you think it is useful for you you can use it so this is destination and source so now let's run it Okay, so now the second test is running. Now let's see what is happening now. This time it should work also. So, um, okay, so both the test passed and uh, yep. Both the test passed so both are working so whatever is suitable for you you can use it because here in this case if you just remove this part it would be just one line because you just have to pass this uh, locators it can be any locator it is not right, just like you have to use this uh, css and this one i mean you can see from my example i have uh, if you uh, you can use xpath as well so it can be anything so based on your requirement you can use it so that's it for today's videos So that's it for today's videos and uh, let me know if you have any question. Um, so please subscribe to the channel and see you.